Deep learning models has become increasingly popular for analyzing scientific data. However, the scientific domain often has additional requirements that standard evaluation approach cannot provide. For example, for evaluating a simulation surrogate, the domain scientists are not only interested in the overall error and the convergence behavior, but also how the model performs at the given input parameter combinations. Therefore, instead of relying on summary information such as loss curve, we need a visualization tool that can review error distribution in the space of input parameters. The challenge lay in the potential high dimensionality of the input parameter space. In this work, we utilize the topological data analysis to identify the peaks of the error defined in such a space and communicate extract information using topological spine that employs a terrain metaphor. The main application of the paper is the evaluation of the surrogate model for the inertial confinement fusion simulation, which takes five input parameters and produce both image and scalar outputs. We build the proposed tool on top of the existing NDAF framework, where many high dimensional data exploration techniques, such as subspace analysis, dynamic projection, have been implemented. The NDAF employs a visualization client and computational server setup that is designed with accessibility, flexibility, and extensibility in mind. The environment for the target application has three views. The topological spine view reviews the high-level structure of the error landscape, whereas the density-based scatter plot and parallel kernel view help relate those structures to the individual dimensions. By adopting a topological-aware data cube aggregation scheme, we allow a joint exploration of both topological and geometrical insights of the dataset consisting of millions of samples. In the topo spine view, the contour around extrema indicate the level set of the function. Similar to the contour line in the topographic map, the user can explore topological feature at different level of granularity by adjusting the persistence threshold. In the scatter plot and the parallel coordinate view, due to the high number of sample and uneven distribution of the data, the density difference can make it hard to see the less frequent sample. To address the problem, we employ gamma correction for the density value, which help review the left frequent samples. The parallel coordinate also supports standard features such as axis brushing and order adjustment. We start the exploration of the surrogate model from the output error. The domain scientist interested in the high error regions in the parameter space. We can focus on those samples by selecting on the error axis in the parallel coordinate, which reveals an interesting binary pattern in the first dimension. With the linked view, we can see the corresponding selection in the topo spine and the scatter plot. When we select one of the peaks in the topo spine, only samples from that peak are displayed. The joint exploration shows that the two peaks in the error function are corresponding to the high and the low values of the first dimension which is the high order shape parameter of the simulation. Besides the output error, we can carry out similar analysis for components inside the neural network that contribute to the overall output error, such as the autoencoder errors and the latent space error. The exploration allows us to better understand which error is the dominant one, how errors interact with each other, and what lead to the output error pattern in the first place. By examining the model's autoencoder errors, and the corresponding image, we notice that the limited ability of the autoencoder to accurately encode more complex image is likely the main contributor of the binary pattern we observed in the output errors. In addition, the analysis of the model's latent space error reveals unexpected similar outputs, where high-frequency circular pattern exists around the main structure. And according to the domain scientists, those pattern may indicate the potential problem of the simulator that they do not aware before. All these important insights will not be available if we only rely on the state-of-art analysis of summary statistics, such as the average prediction accuracy and the loss curve.